Hello everyone, today we are going to be recreating Vincent Van Gogh's famous sunflower painting. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have my piece of drawing paper and my pencil. The first thing I'm going to do is sketch out my vase for my sunflowers. So I'm going to be starting with the vase at the bottom of my paper, leaving a lot of room in the top of my paper for my sunflowers. So let's start with the bottom of our vase. A curved line right in the middle of our paper. And then from that curved line, we're bringing it up. trying to make sure that those lines are even. And then we'll bring it in to show the vase curving in a little. Making sure we are as even as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now let's make the top of our vase. Another curved line. And showing that our vase is open. So there's our vase. Now let's give a table for our vase to be sitting on. So let's come right to about almost almost halfway, do straight line across on each side to look like we have a table that our vase is sitting on. Okay, I have my vase. Now I'm going to start with my sunflowers. I'm going to have five sunflowers coming out of my vase. You should have at least four this way they are filling up almost all of your paper. We want to have as much of our paper filled up with sunflowers as possible. So the first step with making my sunflowers is just drawing the circle or oval shape of the inside of my sunflowers. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to start with one sunflower is going to be hanging over our vase, coming out of our vase on the right hand side. So I'm going to draw an oval over here to make it look like my sunflower is hanging out of my vase. So my first sunflower will be right over here. Let's have an oval. So we have the beginning of one flower here. Now let's have one more bigger sunflower up over here. So let's start with a circle for this one. So we have the start of two sunflowers so far. Let's do a third right over here. And then a fourth. Let's do another oval. So we have four sunflowers and a fifth right here. One more. Okay, so we have the base of where we want our sunflowers to be. Each sunflower is starting out as an oval or a circle. That's the middle of the sunflower. So let's start working on this big sunflower right here. I'm going to give this one big petals because it has such a big middle. So my petals are going to curve out and in. Just like this. Now every petal is going to look different, so don't try to make them all look exactly the same. Just like on a real flower, no petals look the same. 
so I have my first sunflower all sketched out. Let's start working on the smaller one down here. So since this one has such a small inside, I'm going to make sure my petals are small too. So notice how these petals are kind of more of a triangular shape, more like a triangle, more pointed at the end, where these ones are kind of more rounded. So like I said, even though they are both still sunflowers, they do have different looking petals, just like real sunflowers. So let's move on to our third sunflower here in the middle. Now I'm going to give this sunflower some more detail to make it look like there's two layers of petals. So to do that, once I have my first layer done, I'm going to go in between the petals and add a little triangle to make it look like there's an extra petal behind those two. So we have three sunflowers, two left. Let's work with this one up here. Since this one is more of an oval shape, I'm going to give these petals a little bit longer oval shape as well. All right, we have four sunflowers done, one more to go. We have this one over here, which also looks like it's kind of hanging out of the vase like this one is. So let's have these petals filled in. So for this sunflower here, I'm going to add a double layer of detail, just like I did with this one. So I'm going to go in in between the petals and add just a little triangle. Okay, so we have all of our flowers done. Now let's add our stems to our sunflowers. So with this one over here, like we said, we're going to have this one hanging out of the vase. So we need to bring that stem from the flower up and over into the vase. Now let's have this stem coming down from the big flower into the vase. And let's have our fifth flower over here coming in too, just like this one was.
All right, this is my finished sunflowers by Van Gogh. I'm excited to see how you guys do, what kind of colors you guys use, what kind of texture you add. Make sure you take a picture and upload it to the assignments. Can't wait to see.